We want to share a story with you that we filmed just before the coronavirus hit. It was the summer of 2019, and Nataki Garrett had just become the new artistic director of the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. We were excited to film an interview with her just as she moved to Ashland. But then, within months of our filming, coronavirus shut all of her theaters for more than a year. Now, as Oregon Shakespeare continues their reopening process, we're happy to finally share this story with you and give you a chance to meet Nataki Garrett. <laughs> Oregon Shakespeare is one of the largest theater operations in North America. So, this is a doublet. We have about 580 employees. And we sell about 450,000 tickets a year. So people follow OSF. We set the path and other theaters follow us. I get to inherit that. Hi, everybody. My name is Nataki Garrett, and I am the incoming artistic director of the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Thanks for being here. Thank you for that. This audience is a very committed stewarding audience. Audience members will come up to me and, and tell me that they're so happy to have me here. These people love this place. Hi. Hi, it's Hi. so great to meet you. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you, too. OSF doesn't belong to me. Yeah. It actually is something that belongs to the community that supports and serves it here and abroad and all over the United States. No, I'd like to get it away from the, the sofa, so come this way. Yeah. Right now I'm directing How to Catch Creation by Christina Anderson. The year of 1966, Midnight Song is finished! How to Catch Creation is a beautiful, masterfully written play that is simply about love. I gotta get back in the gym. I'll schedule the rematch. There is a lot more behind the play than what the audience gets to see. It is remarkably, at its essence, a collaborative art computer. form. Yeah. Then when I leave, I take computer. Yeah, you can take your glasses too. Yeah, you okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful. My job is to, to create a space where people can do their best possible work. Swing your body that's what, that way, mm -hmm. but I think if you're here and then you swing What your body I really love way. about her direction is she has really strong vision and is very clear about her vision. You can also start this way. She's also really collaborative and wants to build something that is you and she's told us all I cast you for a reason. So how are you in this role? Which is so nice in the room. I feel like an important actor. <laughs> so if it could just go a little bit slower. I yeah. tend to lead from the middle as a director as opposed to from the front. You have put everything I know. I really do a lot of listening. And what I do while I'm listening is I look for ways in which I can insert where my ideas intersect with theirs. And sometimes that means I have to be quiet. And sometimes that means I have to be loud and I have to say, we're gonna do it like this. And then this should come up. I was in every Easter pageant and Christmas pageant and church play growing up. So um, I could say it's in my blood. I grew up in a family that said, what college are you going to? I'm a legacy of women that went to college generations back. And I'm thankful for the limitations that society put on me. Because if you want to test what I'm capable of, tell me I can't do it. If you really read Shakespeare's plays, they're about our kind of visceral, primitive, like, humanity. They're about the base nature. For one thing she did, they would not take her life. And the brightest part of that base nature, it's joyous and it's amazing and it's in its full expression. It can really penetrate you. Alice Murky! And he wanted you to witness. He wanted you to witness you. He wanted you to witness other people so that you and I understand something about who we are and why we exist and what we might want to do in order to create a better world. What if that was the way in? I'm full. I'm full of creative energy. I'm full of ideas. 
I'm in rooms with people who came here because of their level of expertise, and I get access to their expertise as we begin to work and grow together to make this organization into what it wants to be in the 21st century. Theater's good though. It's like if you get bored. I'm so excited about what Nataki is going to do, the way Nataki interacts with people, her viewpoints on the world, the type of collaboration and inclusive collaboration that she likes to do. I'm just really excited about those being our company values, still and continuing. The future is so bright. I inherit an organization that is moving towards something that is so big I can't see it. And at this time where the American theater has made a decision to shift what leadership looks like in terms of race and gender, and not completely shift, I want to make sure I'm clear, but, but there has been a shift and, and I get to be a part of that movement. And I can't imagine that I'm here. Every morning I go, okay, all right, what's my challenge? How do I make this happen? How do I make sure that there's a generation of people who come behind me who are like, listen, I'm here because you were a ladder. Please, please universe, let me be a ladder. That's how it makes me feel. The festival looks a little different this year with the audience in masks, social distancing, and everyone keeping an eye on potential wildfires. But as Shakespeare said, the play's the thing, and the festival perseveres, with artists heading back to the stage and Nataki Garrett leading the way forward.